Hey, and welcome back to video number five. We're going to be talking about how you can get over the mindset roadblock of dreaming. There's nothing wrong with dreaming per se. In fact, dreaming is good. And what I mean by dreaming is you're sitting there having ideas about your business, what it could be, you know, what it can't be and uh, things like that. So the dreamer is a person who has ideas without the proper planning or the implementation. Uh, dreamers tend to hop from golden nugget to golden nugget or golden dream to golden dream. And what I mean by that is they're dreaming about one product, one way of launching their product or or implementing a feature in their product and then or creating a totally different product and you know what I have that same problem but in real in all reality we have to be realistic to ourselves um, especially creative people we dream a lot and that's not a bad thing in fact that's a great thing because we're able to create creative solutions to problems however you do need to make sure that you understand yourself, you understand your weaknesses and your strengths. If your weakness is dreaming and to the point of not doing anything, then you definitely want to get out of this dreaming state. So uh, let me help you get out of this dreaming state. Dreaming has little focus because you're hopping from one dream to another. So how to know you are a dreamer and how to detect one. Um, I found that even though this might sound self-explanatory, there are many people in this world that are dreaming, but they don't realize that they're in this dreaming state. In fact, I can tell you there's a lot of people that I know, business people, you know, that are stuck in the dreamy state for the last you know, I had one business partner who was in the dreamy state for the last seven months and there were other complications as well. But, you know, he was hopping from one idea to another to the point where I just had to be realistic about it. So you have to be realistic to yourself. And if you are going to partner with somebody or you are in a mastermind group with somebody who or you know accountability partner with somebody who is a dreamer or you're part of a group with lots of dreamers then you need to be careful and get out of that situation because eventually you will become who you hang out with so a dreamer they tend to talk a lot so they tend to talk a lot about their ideas and, and the features that they have, but there's not a whole lot of walk. You know, there's not a whole lot of walk. So you definitely want somebody who has a balance, who can talk, but who actually produces and works hard in all that they do. Someone who jumps from idea to idea to idea, little planning, or implementation it's just a bunch of ideas and or you could have somebody who is you know if you find yourself buying everything in sight that could possibly help your business launch then you need to uh, rethink what you're doing or if that's your partner then you need to uh, have a chat with them and, and talk with them about that um, so I, I definitely want you to, to make sure that you understand that Everybody dreams. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's only when it gets worse and worse and worse to the point of, you know, no implementation, no planning, or just going from dreaming to implementation. So it's dreaming to planning to implementation is what's important. Sound like you or does it sound like your potential business partner? If it sounds like you, then great. You can definitely begin to change your mindset and start being realistic with these specific strategies that I'm about to show you. Or if it sounds like your potential business partner, you need to sit down and, and talk with them and, and see, kind of not, not really interrogate them, but kind of see where 
and why they're getting all these ideas. Uh, because in the long run, if you do have a business partner that uh, likes to just talk about ideas and little imp implementation, uh, you're going to be frustrated and overwhelmed in the long run. And in fact, I have experienced it twice uh, this year, uh, both with the offline business and two guys, you know, just having these super ideas, but always being vague about it and not really uh, planning. So don't invest anything uh, without planning. Don't invest the development of a website, development of uh, anything, or even invest any money without planning. If you see that they're able to plan, then that's a good sign because you can get from the dream state to the planning state to the implementation state. So here's some ways to combat the dream state. You definitely need to get in a realistic state of mind and realize that you can't do everything. You can't implement all these dreams. You can't implement all these features in your product. And you, you got to really push it forward. And, you know, going back to the perfection video, you definitely need to launch your product or uh, get your idea or get your business launched. Um, so get in the realistic state of mind, focus on one thing at a time and become more self accountable. And I'm going to be talking about in video number seven, how you can be more accountable to yourself. And I'm going to show you a spreadsheet and I'll show you how to create the spreadsheet so that you can combat it. Another way is to get a notepad or get a box and write on it the ideas book or the ideas box. And anytime you have an idea, write down in that notepad or in, on a piece of paper, drop it in the box and maybe write a note on the box that says, once you've put this idea on the box, you know, quit thinking about it. And really physically actually doing it versus thinking about it will actually help you so once the idea is in the box or in the book, let it go and then begin to focus on what needs to be done and the tasks ahead of you that need to be done.